Curveball, fly ball, right field, and there is Puig. And uh, I hate to break the news to Puig and Uribe and the rest of the Dodgers. That's the third out. As we head to the fourth at the end of the third inning, Messrs. Puig and Uribe weren't quite sure how many outs there were. In fact, there were three. Cameras caught the Nationals dugout after the first inning. So Joaquin Arias doubled down the corner. Jason Worth goes after it. No throw to first base. Then Gio Gonzalez doesn't get over on the attempted double play. And the two had words going to the dugout. Gio Gonzalez looking at Jason Worth. Jason Worth talking to Gio Gonzalez. And obviously we have no idea what was said, but. Well, in the last half inning, apparently there was a disagreement in the Tigers. Uh, dugout McCann and Iglesias got into it a little bit. And Castellanos had to uh, take Iglesias out of there who fired his glove at McCann. Yeah, don't know exactly what was going on down there. Obviously, there was something related to the. Well, between innings in the dugout, a uh, little frustration. Chris Davis ended up having to be uh, held off here. And it was Brandon Hyde, the skipper, who walked away, but something was said by Hyde to Davis. Mark Trumbo, of all people, who's here with the ball club, part of his rehab, reached in and grabbed Chris and set him down. Don't get any easier, does it? No, it doesn't. You had some serious drama. Chris Davis being held back as he was going after someone. Here from Nolan Arenado. He is frustrated. This team is frustrated. We talked with Nolan before the game today, and he said this team is underachieving. They need to start performing. You can tell he's yelling right there at Nick Hunley. I'm not sure if he's specifically directing his message toward what happened after Calhoun struck out. Check this out. And that was not a go get him either, right there. Something going on in the dugout. See Papelbon saying run the ball out. And Bryce saying you got to be kidding me. And then Papelbon went right after Harper. It's getting ugly folks. There's no other way to put it. That stuff happens throughout the course of the season. But, but Bryce Harper evidently nose to nose with Jonathan Papelbon. That's not good. I mean, you can read his lips. He told him you got to run that ball out. And Bryce Harper said, are you kidding me? And there's a base hit. Extra bases coming. The breaking ball. And Riles on his way to second. And BJ taking a lot of time to get to that ball. And it's going to be a three base hit for Ryle. And I don't know what that was all about. Sees it in the seam right here. Let's see where BJ is. And he's jogging. He's jogging right there. He's not running full speed. And Rusty Ryle recognized that right out of the box. Oh, when the Rays uh, came back off the field after the top half of the fifth inning, Longoria took exception to uh, BJ Upton's lack of effort in center field. And you can't blame Longoria for that. Listen, uh, I would rather see teammates get on teammates for talking about what you and I just talked about because it looked like BJ was was jogging after that ball in the gap. We have three down in the top of the ninth inning and the Royals take game one 4 two.